Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Tammy Talks here. It's Wednesday, so we are here to talk married at first sight. This is season 14, episode 11, worst dinner party ever. Y'all must have not seen Tyra Perry or this past season of Power because while this was a good dinner party, it ain't got nothing on what Tyra Perry can write. But let's go ahead and talk about it. If you are brand new to my channel, I do breakdowns of various TV shows, both scripted and reality, interjecting my own thoughts, opinions, and theories into each and every recap. So if you enjoy that type of content, go ahead, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um... Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed tonight's piece of content and happen in the comment section because there is a lot to talk about tonight. My, my, my take might shock you. I don't want y'all to crucify me. Don't want y'all to crucify me. But let's let's get into it. Um, also, um, I do, if you guys are like brand, brand new to me, I do dedicated videos to each and every couple. So there will be four videos tonight because we had four couples. Um, we got a cameo by Chris, which was lovely. Good to see he is still thriving, thriving. But let's go ahead, y'all. Let's talk Elijah, Ron, and Katina. So, um, the episode starts off with Katina cooking breakfast. She burnt the shit out of them eggs. Now... <laughs> I know she's trying. I know she says she can't cook, but like, where, where is the nonstick pan? Like, I have never, and I made eggs this morning. I made eggs this morning for breakfast. I have never had that much egg residue just on the bottom of the pan. I said, Katina, you scorched it. But she's trying. But she's trying. Um, so then we see Katina on FaceTime with her friend, okay? Um, she said the married life is definitely an adjustment. Um, and then her, she's telling her friend that she's been very guarded. The reason she's been guarded, which we know now is because she has, um, she's been hurt before in the past. Remember, she talked about the one ex who was verbally abusive to her, um, would kind of talk down to her, criticize her when she did show emotion, when she did cry. So she doesn't want to get hurt again like that in the past. So she has her walls up, which is, I mean, I'm sure she's seen the same signs in Elijah Wan. You know, he's been verbally abusive to her as well, whether people want to admit it or not. Yes, while some of the stuff he's saying could be true about the cleaning um, and different things because Katina does give a bit of a childish immaturities, but the way that he talks to her is very demeaning, okay? So, so but she says she sees Elijah Juan is a safe place. Girl, just last week, you were crying about how he makes you feel as if you're not good enough. You were just crying last week about how the way that he talks to you heightens all your insecurities. But now he's your safe place? Six days later? Okay. Um, her friend said that she needs to start moving with her heart. Katina says that um, while they do have a lot of PDA... Because she is very attracted to her man. So while she's very attracted to her husband, um, and he is attracted to her, they have not consummated their marriage yet. How? I guess, like, on one hand, I think they are lying. I think they are lying that they have not slept together yet. But on the other hand, girl, if y'all have not slept together yet and y'all are not in the same boat as Michael and Jasmina where y'all clearly just don't like each other, you can you you say that this man likes you. You say that you guys are both very physically attracted to the other. How have y'all not had sex, sex yet and y'all have been living together and sleeping together in the same bed for the past month? Make it make sense to me. Somebody, like, something's, something's amiss, right? That, to me, that doesn't make sense. We are all adults. That does not make sense to me. So, then we have, um, Katina planned their one month anniversary date. Now, um... I don't think we have ever seen, as long as I've been watching, I've been watching since season eight, I believe. I have never seen on the one month anniversary, it being something that just the wife planned. Typically, we'll see, you know, maybe the husband and the wife are both planning something, but for it to be solely the wife planning something, I didn't get it. Katina says she knows that the husband typically plans, but she would rather plan something that she really wanted to do. Okay, girl. So they go on a gondola date. 
Um, Elijah Warren could not pronounce it, which really irritated me. But we shouldn't have been shocked because this is the same man that said salmon. She was going to learn to cook some salmon. I said, this country bumpkin. So you can't say salmon and you can't say gondola. But all right. Alrighty. So he said that um, over the last week, she has really stepped it up. It must have been the burnt egg she made that morning. But he says she has really stepped it up and he feels that he himself has learned how to talk with her and not at her, which is important, right? We Everybody is an adult. Everybody is a human. No one should be talking condescending to anyone for any given reason. No one is better than anyone um, in this scenario, right? So talk to her with some respect. She'll give you their respect back. So they're doing a lot of kissing and like awkward pecks as if they don't have lips. A lot of awkward pecks on the um, on the lips there while they're on the ride. And y'all, I guess that was all they was going to do for the entire anniversary. I said, wow. Okay. Okay. So, um... They get back to the get back to their apartment and you know they do like the replica little little baby wedding cake. He's uber excited that it was carrot cake. Girl, if you don't just start buying this man some carrot cakes every once in a while, go get him like a little somewhere some um somewhere in Boston. You gotta be able to buy like a mini carrot cake because he has been geeked about carrot cakes. So she says that Elijah Wan adds to her joy. Katina, sweetheart, I'm concerned. <laughs> I need you to like blink twice or something on these after shows. But how is Elijah Wan bringing you joy? How is he adding to your joy? When again, just last week, you were saying how he doesn't listen to you and he's condescending to you and he makes you feel bad and he doesn't listen. You listed all these negative things. That man has not completely turned around in a matter of seven days. I'm not going to believe that. I refuse to believe that. So... Elijah Wan tells her, you know, you got a good man sitting in front of you. No, a great man sitting in front of you. I said, where is this going? He's in this because that she has made him a good man. And ain't that the, the role of the black woman? <laughs> we just build build our black men up. And then look how look how they treat us. I'm not saying all y'all before some of the some of the, the strong black men come in my comments and get to. I'm not saying that. Just a reference. But um, he said he enjoys being with her, even though she is not the best cook. And it's like, why did you have to shade her in that moment? We saw the food. We see what's going on. You mentioned her cooking so often that if I was Katina, I wouldn't cook another dish in that apartment again. I swear for God, I would not cook a damn thing. Like, if you're going to constantly not only demand that I cook, then when I do cook the little bit that I know how to, in her case, then for you to talk about it, I wouldn't cook nothing else. Y'all would see me um opening containers and putting food out and plating it every single time y'all show me. But we see Katina in the kitchen behind the stove every single week. Every week she in there cooking. So he said that he is now feeling her, which is different than liking her. I'm feeling you now, right? I'm feeling you. And I'm like, Elijah just looks high all the time. Am I the only one that's seeing the red eyes? Like, Lord, is 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 the is the weed legal in Boston? What is going on? But this man looks high in like 75% of the scenes, especially when he has to be one-on-one -on -one with her and have a real conversation. Nonetheless, they read through their vows and all this other type of stuff. Um, and then they decide to call it a night and go to sleep. Katina has had bags under her eyes since this started. Katina looked like a young spring chicken during the honeymoon. I mean, excuse me, during the bachelorette parties and the casting specials. Since she has been married, she has had everlasting implanted bags under her eyes. Elijah Ron is wearing her thin. Um, or should I say wearing her ragged? So then we get this scene, which really baffled me. Um, when they get in the room, she says she doesn't have any pajamas left. She doesn't have any pajamas left. So he gives her some basketball shorts and a tank top to sleep in. And then she goes in the next room to change. And he is sprawled out on the bed in clean drawers this time, sprawled out on the bed 
talking about he's looking for the sex toys and stuff that they send. So have y'all slept together or not? Because if y'all have not, why are you looking for the sex toys? Why was Katina's big ass purse just open on, on the, the nightstand next to the bed? What What is going on? Katina girl, did you not do laundry? You have to keep up with laundry because you're on TV. What is... Nonetheless, she gets in the bed in this tank top that is clearly not appropriate for her to have on because of the filming. So she's covering her. And I'm like, just cut the scene, Lifetime. Cut this awkward ass scene. Katina, girl, if you don't find yourself a big oversized t-shirt to sleep in and then do some laundry the next day, ridiculous. So then we have um, the group date. And this is where things get interesting. So everyone is talking about how the how their marriages are going. You know the ups, the downs, the all arounds. Um, everybody was keeping it very cute at first, and then you know Lindsay came in and was like, "Yeah, well, Mark is this and that." And, you know she kind of changed to she changed the mood to where everybody kind of felt a little more comfortable, kind of going in on their spouse. Okay, so. After listening to everybody talk and, you know, give their spiel, it was very noticeable that Olajuwon and Katina weren't saying anything. We heard from Mark and Lindsay like twice. Noy and Steve would jump in. Jasmine and Michael. It was like kind of like a six-way conversation with Katina just looking and smiling. And Olajuwon just kind of looking like he didn't know where to like kind of jump in at. So, Katina says, you know, that she feels that being consistent is what's going to be key for them. She thinks he's made some huge strides. He's turned um, turned around a lot, done like a good 160 to, wow, 160, 180, excuse me. He's done um, a 180 with how he treats her, how he talks to her. And so, she can see, you know, if they keep up with being consistent, she can definitely see a future together for them. And I'm like, okay, Olajuwon looks like he didn't want to talk. But then he, you know, gets himself together and says that they have chemistry, okay? But he doesn't know if it's friendship chemistry or marriage chemistry. I said, oh, this is going to take a turn. So he said he's questioning if the marriage is even real. So now everybody at the table is looking like... Okay, what is going on? Noy Noy picked up her glass and took a sip. Everybody's kind of looking like, okay, this is about to go left. Elijah Wan said that he saw something on the bus on the way there that is making him question her. I said, oh Lord. So Katina is like, I don't even know what's going on in a confessional. Elijah Wan said that he borrowed her phone for a second. And he skimmed through it. That's your first mistake. When you go looking for something, you find it. I do not believe in going through people's phones. If you give me your phone, if I ask to make a phone call, or if you're showing me a picture, or if I need to look up something on the internet, if I'm glancing at the directions, I do not go through people's phones. Because if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. I will never understand. Like, and it's not even like you casually picked up her phone and maybe like a text message came down or something like that. You admitted to skimming through her phone. So Katina is looking at him like, what are you even talking about? So he kind of gets bucked with her. I'll bring it up right now. I'll bring it up right now. And she was like, well, no, because I don't know what's going on. Katina has no idea what's going on. So if it's one thing that I hate is for people to, to phrase it the way that Elijah Wan is. Well, something happened, but I don't talk. I don't talk about it. But something did happen. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about it. But it's making me question things. But I don't want to talk about. It. Like, why did you bring it up then? So Katina asked him too. Like, why did you bring this up? This is a private conversation. He said because he wants to be honest. Honest with how, what part of this is being honest? Have that conversation with her back at the house because she was blindsided. She said that they were getting along the entire dinner, and now here you come wanting to have a moment and wanted to embarrass her. Elijah Wong wants to continually embarrass Katina and keep her at a level 
where he can make sure that he always has his foot on her neck. He has said it a time or two before. It was like an episode or two ago where he said, it is my job to keep you humble. It's my job to humble you. It's my job to ground you as your husband. I'm sorry. I don't know what part of the vows that is, but I don't think you humbling me and you trying to embarrass me is that. So he keeps saying how he wants to be honest with himself. He can't be honest with himself if he didn't bring it up. Why do these other six people need to know what's going on to me i'm sorry but to me that made absolutely zero sense there was no reason for you to bring that up you could have easily kept it cute and said you know we've had our share of ups and downs um and then you know we're going to continue to work through that again like it's you know to piggyback off my wife consistency is key you didn't do that you chose to take this moment to make her look bad in front of everybody and she has no idea what it's about so katina kept asking him why are you doing this in front of everybody and he's like you know as her husband as her husband, if I say something's wrong, you know, that should be it. And it's kind of like Elijah Wan, you are not the land, you are not the, the a dictator. You are not the president of this marriage. You are not the owner of this marriage. You know what I mean? You don't tell her how she should and should not feel. Because for all she knows, you just saw some bullshit in her phone. But for one, the fact that you went through her phone, two, the fact that you're blindsiding her about this, you just want something to complain about. So he says in his confessional that, you know, before coming into this, he was kind of on the fence about decision day. I'm going to get my answer today. Shut up. You and your hairline. So Lindsay and Jasmina kind of let him know, like, we get, you know, what you're, what you're upset about. But this ain't the venue to do it. You're you're like, you're blindsiding her. You low-key trying to embarrass her. Noi was like, this is a conversation that should be had in private. You ruined the whole damn dinner for everybody. You ruined the whole dinner for everybody. So they get home. Elijah Wan off-rip asks to see her phone. He saw a dating app. Katina, that shit should have been deleted. Okay? It should have been deleted. However, the way that he is talking to her about it, what is going on? So he feels that it shouldn't be on her phone. She said that it's an it's it's an old app. She doesn't have an active profile. She forgot it was on her phone. Now, on to Katina's to Katina's point, I have probably over a hundred apps on my phone. There's a lot of stuff on my phone that I have forgotten that I downloaded that I haven't used in forever. You know, you do the iCloud and you just, I just, whenever I get a new phone, everything just merges over, merges over. If I download something on my iPad, it's coming on my phone. You know what I mean? So like I can download a random game that Instagram got me. Now I'm going to download a game. It's going to pop up on my iPad too. I mean, on, on, on my phone. So if she forgot that the app was there, absolutely. Okay. Fine, it should have been deleted, but if you forgot it, then you forgot it, girl. That's like, there's nothing we can do about that. So, I feel like the conversation took a turn when he wouldn't give her the benefit of the doubt. So, he flipped it and kept saying, well, if I had the app, how would you feel? She said, well, I would ask you, and if you told me it was an old app that you're not using, I would just tell you right now to delete it. Which I think is a very plausible thing. Again, these marriages, this stuff, this all happens very, very quickly. Now, to Elijah Wan's point, though, to Elijah Wan's point, execution completely trash, okay? Let's get that clear. His execution was horrible as his execution typically is. That shouldn't have happened the way that it has. You shouldn't have tried to embarrass her at dinner. You shouldn't be talking to her the way you're talking to her right now. This shouldn't have happened the way that it went down at all. However, Katina, when you found out, when you applied for this show, you should have gotten rid of those apps. And I feel that's all Elijah Wan was saying because he even told her that, you know, if you wanted to keep looking for yourself, then you shouldn't have signed up for the show. He asked her why does he have to even explain to her why it's an issue. And see, Elijah Ron, she, you're not giving, you're, like, she's giving you a response. She acknowledged that, yeah, it should have been gone, but she's not using it. Again, 
Stop going through people's phones and you wouldn't have this problem. So then he goes on to tell her that he she is a stranger and he is putting all his trust into this stranger and she is making excuse after excuse after excuse. He said that he deleted every single app that would cause her to question him as a person. Again, yes, the app should have been deleted, Katina. There's no way around that. However, Elijah, on the way you come in at her is real greasy. I don't know who you thought she was talking to, but this is a grown woman. So Katina, you know, she rolls her eyes. He gets even more upset about that. Now we're ripping off mics. I don't want that fam anymore. No, everybody is wrong in this situation. Everybody's wrong. But this is what happens when you have two people, one that's immature like Katina and one that is just ignorant like Elijah. They can't have a proper conversation about conflict. It should have been, yo, why you got Bumble or Tinder or whatever on your phone? Why do you have this app on your phone? Damn, I forgot I had the app. Let me go ahead and delete it for you right now. And that could, that's all that could have happened and we could have moved forward from this. However, Katina said, you about to see the real Katina come out. Girl, can we see it? Because right now you're a shell of your you're a shell of of yourself trying to appease this man with this receding ass hairline that treats you like you are beneath him. Give it back to him the way he's giving it to you. Don't let him talk to you like that. But you ripping off your mic and going and running in the room and slamming the door makes it look like you're guilty or something. Do I think Katina been scrolling through the uh, the dating apps? Absolutely not. I absolutely don't. But the way that you're handling this, Katina, you're making yourself look guilty. Words to the wise, don't go through people's phones. Because when you go looking for something, you find it. That's all, they, that's all it comes down to. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. Hop into the comment section, y'all. Who was wrong? Is, is Katina wrong for still having the app? Or was Elijah one wrong for his delivery and execution? Let's talk about it down below.